Today, we will talk about the Kyoto Protocol, an international agreement that aimed to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse gases. The Kyoto Protocol was an international agreement that aimed to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and the presence of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. It was adopted in Kyoto, Japan in 1997 and effectively replaced by the Paris Agreement in 2016. The essential tenet of the Kyoto Protocol was that industrialized nations needed to lessen the amount of their CO2 emissions. The protocol mandated that industrialized nations cut their greenhouse gas emissions, and countries that ratified the Kyoto Protocol were assigned maximum carbon emission levels for specific periods. Developed countries made a promise to reduce their annual hydrocarbon emissions by an average of 5.2% by the year 2012, and targets depended on the individual country. The Kyoto Protocol established three different mechanisms to enable countries additional ways to meet their emission limitation target. These mechanisms included emissions trading, the clean development mechanism, and joint implementation. The Kyoto Protocol recognized that developed countries are principally responsible for the high levels of GHG emissions in the atmosphere. As such, the protocol placed a heavier burden on developed nations compared to less developed nations. Developing nations were asked to comply voluntarily and were exempted from the Kyoto Agreement altogether. The protocol separated countries into two groups, Annex I contained developed nations, and non-annex I referred to developing countries. The protocol placed emission limitations on annex I countries only. Non-annex I nations participated by investing in projects designed to lower emissions in their countries. The United States, which ratified the original Kyoto Protocol, dropped out of the protocol in 2001. The U.S. believed that the agreement was unfair because it called only for industrialized nations to limit emissions reductions, and it felt that doing so would hurt the U.S. economy. In 2015, at the Sustainable Development Summit held in Paris, all UNFCCC participants signed yet another pact, the Paris Climate Agreement, which effectively replaced the Kyoto Protocol. In December 2012, after the first commitment period of the protocol ended, parties to the Kyoto Protocol met in Doha, Qatar, to adopt an amendment to the original Kyoto Agreement. This so-called Doha Amendment added new emission reduction targets for the second commitment period, 2012 to 2020, for participating countries. The Paris Climate Agreement is a landmark environmental pact that was adopted by nearly every nation in 2015 to address climate change and its negative effects. The agreement includes commitments from all major GHG emitting countries to cut their climate altering pollution and to strengthen those commitments over time. As the Paris Climate Agreement went into force in 2016, the United States withdrew from the agreement under the Trump administration. However, on January 20, 2021, President Biden began the process of rejoining the Paris Climate Agreement, which officially took effect on February 19, 2021. Recent legislative action in support of climate change initiatives put forth under both the Kyoto Protocol and Paris Agreement include measures to reduce global GHG emissions and to assist developing nations in their efforts to adapt climate control. Some relevant dates relating to the development, implementation, and revisions to the Kyoto Protocol include the adoption of the treaty in Kyoto, Japan in 1997, and the Doha Amendment in December 2012. The primary purpose of the Kyoto Protocol was to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse gases among developed nations in order to minimize the impacts of climate change. The United States backed out of the Kyoto Protocol Agreement in 2001 on the basis that it unfairly burdened developed nations. The treaty called only for developed nations to reduce emissions, which the U.S. believed would unfairly stifle its economy. After becoming a signatory in 2013, Afghanistan became the 192nd and last signatory of the Kyoto Protocol. 
The Kyoto Protocol was created in response to concerns surrounding climate change and sought to reduce carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse gases among developed nations. The Kyoto Protocol is considered a landmark legislative achievement and remains an important part of environmental and conservation history, despite being superseded by the Paris Agreement. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The Kyoto Protocol was an international agreement that called for industrialized nations to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions significantly. 2. The U.S. withdrew from the agreement on the grounds that the mandate was unfair and would hurt the U.S. economy. 3. The Paris Climate Agreement of 2015 replaced the Kyoto Protocol and includes commitments from all major GHG emitting countries to reduce their climate altering pollution. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.